Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Rove continues with a new bush trip. Finally, we've made it to the Newfoundland Passage bush trip, which is from Porto Schwa to St. John's International St. John's, somewhere on this same island, I imagine. Newfoundland, located in eastern Canada and part of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, is a sparsely populated island of austere beauty. At just over 42,000 square miles in area, it is the fourth largest of Canada's islands and the largest of its islands outside of those of its high Arctic of Baffin, Victoria, and Ellesmere. Populated by less than a half million and experiencing a subarctic climate where North Atlantic storms lash it, relatively few travel to Newfoundland. Those who do venture to the area are treated to spectacular vistas of coastline, interior mountains, lakes, rivers, sweeps of tundra, and the colorful, historically evocative architecture of its few settlements. This bush trip visits all of the best that Newfoundland has to offer, beginning at the small Porto Shua Airport located on the island's northwest. The journey then weaves a course through a medley of the island's geography to the Avalon Peninsula, ending at Newfoundland's most popular city, St. John, the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador. 716 kilometers, uh, 2 hours, 22, 6 legs. Leg one starts today, Porto Shua to Deer Lake. Let's go! All right, let's start our clock. We're good to go. Let's get this bush trip on the go, on on its way, on, on its furthest, on its you know words and stuff like that. What do we want? We want two eighteen, but ten minutes fifty eight seconds. Anyway, we've, the bush trip has put us back in probably spring or something. Well, actually, we were already spring, right? Maybe middle of summer. Don't know. It's 9.01 a.m. local time for this bush trip. Now flaps up and let's go. Don't sink, don't sink, don't I sink. know, don't sink. I'm not sinking. You're sinking. Portland Creek. After lifting off... Why is the trim so violent? After lifting off from Port Rushua Airport, turn to the south-southwest across... Ig Igor Nashua Bay, there you go, and begin following the coastline and Newfoundland and Labrador route of 430. The route parallels the coast along this part of Newfoundland, which is called the Great Northern Peninsula. The Great Northern Peninsula is the longest and largest by area peninsula on the island of Newfoundland. Hang on, let's, let's level off a bit. At least try to, before we, it's a wall of text here, let me tell you. Uh, largest by area peninsula in the island of Newfoundland, it is bounded on the west by the Gulf of St. Lawrence and on the east by the Labrador Sea of the North Atlantic Ocean. Port Oshua is rooted in Basque maritime heritage. Its name is Basque for Little Port. The town and surrounding area is one of Canada's most important from an archaeological standpoint, as a number of finds revealed some of North America's earliest inhabitants, leaving Port Oshua Passed by Hawke's Bay, then Little Brook Pond, followed by River of Ponds Lake, the lakes all nestled against the rugged coastline. After River of Ponds Lake, site Inner Pond, and then the small settlement of Portland Creek. Okay, we've just got... there we go. Our instructions have been put on 15 stone tablets and sent to us by carrier pigeon. What the hell? That's a lot of instructions right there. So I hope you got all that. There will be a test. Let's try... Let's try minus 1% trim for now. This isn't a plane that looks like it's going to... Uh, oh, even more. Let's go... Oh, start with minus 2. We're of above Spirity Cove. Was that mentioned? D don't think so. Not mentioned at all. Anyway, we've got 11 minutes to go. All of that stuff that could have been their own little um, waypoints? No, we're just going to dump an A4 page of text on this. Good work, bush trip designer. No, I'm just kidding. I love your work. I really do. I love these bush trips. Janky instructions and all. Do 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 do. We're still climb. Let's try minus 5%. There we go. Oh, 
Ah, that was mentioned. River of Ponds is just coming up. Okay, yeah. So we've just gone over Hawks Bay, yep. Then Little Brook Pond must have been what's just below us now. And then River of Ponds Lake just in front of us. That must be it on the left there. River of Ponds. Uh, this little town below us is River of Ponds. Beautiful. Lovely day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for everything. Right, I'm going to go back to 5%. That seemed to be the, the magic number. Yeah, River of Ponds Lake. That's a classic. That's got three different bodies of water in its name. It's the River of Ponds. The Lake of the River of Ponds. If there was an outlet, it could be the River of Ponds Lake Bay. They're just not thinking far enough. Beautiful looking island. Few little hills off in the distance. Obviously coming here was live weather, so this was all stormy and and snowy and rainy and sleety. Our arrival to uh, Port Orchoa on yesterday's video was a hairy to say the least. Pretty much 30 knot crosswind, tried to land it, succeeded. Didn't actually have so much trouble, but it, it was looking dodgy there for a second, that's for sure. Alright, we've done six minutes. Halfway there, basically. Ah, the serenity. So, yeah, you can see it. There's a road along the coast. That's the 430 that was promised us by the wall of text. Is it using my Canadian numbering or is there 430 highways on this island? Or does it mean something? Where did it, you know, there must be some kind of standard numbering system, but I don't think there is. You'd think everyone would, uh, you know, all around the world would, would say, okay, if it's, I don't know, if it ends with a zero, it's near a city or something. Uh, I don't know. But surely you could use the numbers for, for information. Maybe you can in some places. Just numbering them, this is the 430th road we invented, is, is cool and all, but you could be using more information. Portland Creek we're heading to, we've got a little town called Melbourne's just over on the right there. Melbourne's. Just off the right wing. Tiny little town. Extremely tiny. Wasn't mentioned on the wall of text. We did uh, River of Ponds Lake. And after a River of Ponds Lake site in a pond and the small settlement of Port Creek. So, I don't know, is this in a pond up ahead? It does say... Well, it doesn't say it's small, so I'm going to assume it is. I'm going to make that assumption. Mm. 
couple of minutes we would hope to have found Portland Creek. One can only hope and dream of such a thing. Daniels Harbour is the town on the peninsula there. And just under the wing now. But I don't see no stinking Portland Kriak. Well, not yet anyway. I think this must be in a pond. Can't see that yet on my Google map. If you're watching the VOD, well, if you're watching the, the video of the bush trip, there is a VOD of this live streamed in the description below that has my little uh, virtual face and also a little map that follows along. The Jugal map. So if you wonder what I'm talking about when I say that, and you think that might be more interesting, check out the VOD below. End plug. Well, we've just ticked over 10 minutes 30, but we wouldn't, it's going to be a bit longer for the first leg. We, we, we've got to, there's taking off time. I mean, technically you meant to take off, zoom around, wait till you, you know, get the right direction over the runway, then start your clock at full speed. But do I do that? No. Would I do that? No. What a waste of time. It just means the clock might be a little bit wrong. Plus, I go faster than I'm, I'm supposed to, I think. Mean. Probably meant to be about 165 cruise speed, but... I'm doing a little bit more than that. Hey, look, here's Portland Creek on the map. And it's kind of over there somewhere. Over there on the coast. As you'd expect, I suppose. Portland Creek, if that is your real name. Uh, yeah, so we're 11 and a half minutes. Uh, yes, we've moved on. The Purple Arrow is happy for us to go. 2.22 now. Not much of a turn. And another wall of text. We're going to reset our clock for 7 minutes 5 seconds. Don't pause. Isn't that where we're heading at the end? Oh, that was St. John's, wasn't it? Uh, continue following the coastline to the south-southwest and route 430, which parallels it. The highway is officially called the Great Northern Peninsula Highway in this part of Newfoundland. It is also called the Viking Trail, as the only verifiable Viking settlement in North America is located at La Somedo, at the northern tip of the Great Northern Peninsula. Gain a visual on Parsons Pond River, then Cowhead Peninsula, St. Paul's, a small fishing village, lies on the south end of St. Paul's Bay, just south of Cowhead Peninsula. Look at these purple, pink things going on down here. What's going on? There's been some bloodletting. This is where the Vikings killed everyone. There you go, Vikings, up here somewhere. I'm pretty sure they've proven now that they made it to North America too, right? Like actual the mainland I feel like I've seen something about that then again I saw something that suggested there were Egyptian boats some in some chasm in Ohio or something which uh, okay I don't doubt it I, I'm you know the Egyptians had boats they were able to circumnavigate the world we just don't have much evidence for it and to suggest that Columbus was the first person to find I mean, he didn't even set foot on the uh, on the mainland of, of uh, North or South America. I don't think he ever made it past one of the islands in the Caribbean. 
And of course, you know, Native Americans came from somewhere. They didn't evolve in North America. They came from Africa originally. Oh, here's Parsons Pond. That was mentioned, wasn't it? Uh, Parsons Pond River. Okay. Well, Parsons Pond's just ahead of us. It's this lake-ish thing next to us. Am I peaking again? Oh, I am a little bit, aren't I? I'll have to check that in the VOD later. Uh, my apologies for the video if you are hearing me peak. I have readjusted my microphone to be a bit closer. Just to see how that goes. Well, it's possible I'm peeking a bit. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, three minutes of seven minutes. We've just passed Parsons Pond. We're going over Three Mile Rock. Let's see what we can see. Oh, look at that beautiful. to uh, fly away I'll put the autopilot on that would be cheating well I could put it on just for the the, the scenic view I guess that wouldn't be too much cheating would it now would it Peninsula. Oh well, yeah. Look, town in front of us, Cowhead. So this on the right must be Cowhead Canyon Sula. It is the Sula of the Penin. We worship it daily, along with the cow's head. Does it look like a cow's head? No. I, although it does look like it might have been sort of cut up a bit by human, you know, a little bit of a, a, a windbreak, no, a windbreak, a sea break there in that bay over on Cow's Head. So perhaps they cut into the Cow's Head. The violent fools, the fools, the damn fools, the foolish fools. Six, another minute and a half. And then where are we going? 212. Gotcha, gotcha. So it looks like we're probably just high enough if we're you know, making a beeline for these hills, these mountains. St. Paul's, there it is, right in front of us at the other side of this you know, land bridge thing going on. And actual bridge. There we go, underneath us now. St. Paul's, welcome. So yeah, if I didn't have the purple arrow, I would probably be turning just about now. A minute early. Look, we're turning. We're turning a minute early. Fair enough. That's how fast we're going. Alright, 212 for 5, uh, 44. A rocky, a rocky harbour. From St. Paul's, continue following the Viking Trail and pass over Two Mile Pond. How many ponds? Just south of St. Paul's. Then pass just to the west of Western Brook Pond. In the distance, south of a number of ponds of various sizes, site Rocky Harbour and the town of the same name. Uh, Gardaigne. 
the town of the same name. You've got to be kidding me. Rocky. Dr. Scott. Ah, Janet. Rocky. What are you doing? 212. 212. Yeah, I can do that. Well, I can look at that bay there, or lake, or whatever, with its sheer cliff walls. Beautiful. Planet Earth, man. We should take care of this planet. It's a good one. It may be the best planet there is for human life. I mean, you know, it's not like we evolved here. Am I high enough? Am I high enough? Are we just going to plow straight to this mountain for the hell of it? No worry. Autopilot's not on. I've got control here. I am the cat pain now. Anything on this hill? Human made? No, nothing? Just no trails? No lookouts? No little shacks? No little hunting lodges? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's see, we've got another one, two, three minutes to go. There's a number of other ponds of various sizes. Look, there's just too many ponds to discuss. Who's calling them ponds as well? A pond is a, like a, a tiny lake in a park for me. Anyway, ponds. They want to call themselves ponds or be called ponds? Who am I to tell them no? Who am I to tell them to biz off and no ponds? Nobody. Nobody. Four minutes on the clock of five forty four. Probably more likely going to be five or so. I'm guessing that's Rocky Harbor over there with its cliffs and its natural splendor. Hmm, there it is actually. The name of the town is Rocky Harbor. Over to the right there, actually, just above the right wing, according to the Jubal map. Five on the dot, exactly. Alright, and just to make things even more, we've got a wall of text. Just, just as surprising. We want 156 for 1026. Reset our clock. Ah, uh, dear Lake. Dear Lake, I, have, I would like to write to you. 
to express my deep and utter satisfaction at how lovely you are. Lol. Continue to track the Viking Trail, which from Rocky Harbour heads to the southeast at the base of the Great Northern Peninsula. Fly over the northern shore of East Arm of Bond Bay, then sight Bond Bay Big Pond, a large complex shaped lake which is skirted by the Viking Trail on its northern edge. Gain a visual on the town of Deer Lake. Deer Lake Airport lies just to the northeast of the town. Wow. Wow. Excitement. Adventure. Yeah, another 10 minute, uh, well, maybe 11 minute leg. Segment, what would you call it? beautiful isn't it it's just wow 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 and the description at the beginning said that Newfoundland is sparsely inhabited because of nasty storms we saw that yesterday we saw that yesterday 45 knot winds up here crazy absolute madness but fun. Oh, little judder there, what do you call it? Stutter? Come on, you can do it, Flight Sim. You can do it. I believe in you. What are, you know, why are more than half a living here? I don't know if I'm in Bombay. Is this Bombay? I don't know. Oh, it's East Arm. Oh, I see that. Oh, there you go. East Arm. It's just called East Arm on the Googles, but that must be Bombay then. And then somewhere here is Bombay Lake. We've got Stanleyville and Lomond over on the right there. Can't quite see them. They're probably just off our uh, screen now. Stanleyville. What was that game? The Stanley Battle Ball. bush trips which is you know off the beaten track i mean not that we haven't gone off the beaten track a bit on our on the road well, we've done some very remote wilderness places especially up in canada recently and uh back in russia oh, back when there was places i had to fly an hour and a half just to find another airport and i only really want to do half an hour on the road for maximum excitement or something, I don't know, maximum whatever, just like half an hour, it's a good, good moment, it's a good time, the, uh, the short version looks pretty good, not too fast, not too slow, here we go, more stutters, what are you doing, what's wrong? Alright, it's just, it's just having issues I guess. It's on strike. It doesn't want to raise the retirement age to 64. I'm burning everything down here in France. And the plane's on strike as well. The virtual plane flying in virtual Canada is on strike. Virtually. Right little town just to the left there, Willondale? Wiltondale? Wiltondale? Something Dale. Little town, I'm sorry, I miss, I don't know, can't read it. 
and, and now the plane on the map is above it and I can't read it because the plane's in the road. I'm sorry, I think it's Wilton Dale. We've done five minutes of ten and a half, so this is not where we're headed, although this is a some kind of bay. Oh, this is Bombay Pond that we were mentioning earlier. Wow, Bombay was back there. Oh, here we are. Bond Bay a Pond, as promised. Just to uh, well, just at the end of that bay there, that bit of a bit of bit of water, and then we're gonna fly over Jack Ladder. You know, it said that it was sparsely populated, but this is quite a lot of little towns, little villages, sure, but more than we're having over north of uh, the mainland. Here we go, there we go. Below us, Jack Ladder. Hello, Jack Ladder. What a strange name you have. I love you. Alright, 6.40 done. Another four or so minutes. We should be able to see Deer Lake by now. That must be over there. Although there's a lake on the right and a lake on the, in front of us. Which one will it be? And the airport is northeast of the town of Deer Lake. Why had I frozen there? Okay. Maybe it's my computer how going on strike. Alright, well, we're, we're back. We're back apparently. Struggling apparently, and struggling with all of this 3D photogrammetry and this huge cityscape it has to load in. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a confluence of roads just ahead. We're still following the 430 basically. And a little town here called Cormac. Actually, it just looks like it's a farm called Cormac. Another road, the 422 and the 430 are joining up here somewhere. Just over there to the right, where that quarry is, or whatever's going on over there. Now the airport should be fairly obvious, because it's a long, giant, concrete runway. And I'm thinking that's it right in front of us now, surely. The town, so it must, Deer Lake must be the one on the right. don't feel like there's much wind uh, to be spoken of, so I guess we'll just land this way. Try to figure out how this plane lands. That's definitely the runway there, right? Can't quite see the runway, but it looks very much like an airport. So I'm just going to assume it is. Let's slow it down. Let's trim it back to I don't know what for this plane. Try 6%. We're above Reedville, which is not Deer Lake. Uh, gears down, flaps are down. Let's try and find El Airport Ondo. As it's known around here. There it is. There are lights on this side. I haven't been able to prove that it tells you which runway to land on by the lights flashing because it has not... Well, it just hasn't happened for us. When I was doing... Yes, there were a couple of airports. There were flashing runway lights that sort of suggested this is where to land. Maybe it was only after I talked to ATC, I don't know. We can't talk to ATC in the bush trip, so... 
Um, I guess technically we're meant to fly low, see if we can get an eye on the uh, on the windsock, which is apparently always hard to find. We're in different spots constantly in this simulation. Whereas I feel like in real life the windsock is meant to always be roughly in the same spot at each airport, but. I don't know, why would, you, why would, I mean, surely you should do that. You should always know that the windsock is like there. That's where the windsock should be. Just next to the runway, right at the beginning of it. And one on the other end. I don't know why there's two windsocks, but there is. Looks like we're actually landing in the right direction. Oh, a bit heavy, a bit heavy, but we're okay, we're okay. Welcome to Deer Lake. Hold on for dear life. Get our brakes on. Hope it, hope it simulates. Hope it it registers there we go there's the word i'm looking for there we go leg one of the what is it newfoundland passage bush trip in the bag i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching thank you for existing au revoir goodbye